okay welcome back guys it's your body graphics right now i want to show you how you can do uh design a business banner on your android smartphone and now you can blend like a professional using your android smartphone or your iphone so without wasting much of our time let's get started the application we are using is called uh, pscc so there are two type of this application is either you get the uh, PSC Touch or PSCC. You can get the application on Google, but you can't get it on Play Store. Just type PSCC. You can actually see the name of the application here, PSCC. If you are using Android version more than uh, above 10, but if you are using lesser than, at least you get PS Touch. So having got that, then the next thing we need to do is to tap on this plus sign, tap on Photo Library, go to your gallery, then the first thing we need to do is to bring up the background so the background I want to use is this after that then the next thing we need to do is to tap on the layer tap on plus sign click on photo library go to the photos then bring the other layer which you want to place here so like for instance you can see the one i want to place here and this is a plum there are two ways of doing this you can blend this to make it a more uh, okay. So, and how can you do that? So, let's look at it. If we multiply different six, let's see decking. Um, the value should be the okay. Differences or linear lush. The screen lighting multiply. So, the multiply is actually okay, but not as uh, cool as i want but instead of that i will put it in normal so normal is okay but better still others will be able to work along with it well so what i'm going to do next i'm going to tap on this then go back to my gallery then bring other layer as a stuff so i want to make use of this to make it a cool so what i'm going to do is to increase the size for this then uh, after that i'm going to overlay it then reduce the opacity just to make the color to sharp and to come out clean so you can increase it a little bit to make it uh, look awesome so after that go back to the uh, layer and go back to the gallery you can bring the other element as you please it depends so i want to bring this one in so when i bring this one in you can see how the result be then i'm i need a shadow the shadow need to be at the bottom before that so i need to bring a shadow but there's no cause for alarm i have to bring it back and then when you look at it it actually done the work so after that go back repeat the same process by going back to the gallery you can bring other element and you make sure that you blow them so one after the other so when you bring this one in go back to fx and click click on the gotcha blow just as this you can increase it depends on how you want it but this is cool so anytime you bring the other one it will automatically apply into that so you can see this just go to the fx and tap on the gotcha block so it will take the effect immediately so go back to the gallery again until when the layer is able to fill up but when the layer is fill up the other things can still be done so you can bring this one in then you go back to gotcha block and when you look at it everything seems to be accurate but remain one so go back to the gallery if it take, takes the other layer so i have this so when i look at it so i don't want that i think the other one should be bringing in here so i have this okay perfect so go to the gotcha blow and you blow that now it will remain two things which i want to blow but the layer is fill up so what I can I do that? How can I do that? Since it's fill up, I need to save this first. 
so let me save this okay click on the uh this arrow tap on the format you want to save and tap on the what you want to save so i'm bringing this as a background this time around since the layer is already filled up so i have to save on download so i need to reclick so that the layer can pop up but if it is not pop up i can close the entire process so click on the pscc again so tap on the entire process then you should have this so you can see so now that i have this i can go and bring other layer which i want to add it so take it for instance i want to add this then go to fx i'll place it here but i can relax the hardness a little bit still go back to the gallery so go back there and you bring other element as you want to place it so this go to the if fx click on gaussian blur then you can blow this and if you want this to be more than that you can still tap on it when you tap you can increase the blurriness now everything seems to be cool and seem to be perfect so what is the next thing that we need to do we need to add some other stuff to make it to look accurate so i need to save this okay click on uh, this arrow facing out click on the type format you want to save and tap on it and click on save so i'll put the finishing touch to the rest on the gallery on, on the pc lab so i'm heading back to my pc lab so go to the pc lab so do the finishing touch there so just bring this one in okay so you can first of all bring it in as a background and you overlay this you might be wondering why am i doing that to avoid the blurriness so now that this has been done then the next thing i need to do is to go in there and i have a fresh and spicy okay so let's say we have fresh and spicy then i will go there i will take after night font the font called after night so i will position that here very small then reposition around here so there are things tricks which i'm going to use here which will be amazing but you need to learn from that it's about some anyway since everything seems to be jam-packed so i will have what we call a burger here as well okay so let's say we have a burger so this burger i want to use a phone that will be able to portray it so use bibas boat then i will increase the size so having increased the size you can actually see that it covered this particular area which is not right but first of all create a breathing space to this one when you do that position this around here make it look awesome so after you are able to do that reposition to the center very well then the next thing we need to do there are two ways you need to copy when you copy go to the color and reduce it to zero then you see nothing shown again go back to the stroke apply a stroke then change it to color white when you do that go back to the gallery then you go to where you have your split burger just as this then you position it to the center remember to lock it when you lock it send it up okay when you send it up you could be able to position this underneath and this is amazing as you can see right this is cool and this is what we are trying to do so you can put a finishing touch by bringing it down a bit but what you are trying to achieve it uh, you are able to actualize it so you have fresh and spicy burger okay then after you are able to do that we can increase this a little bit when you increase it a little bit make sure you position to the center now go to the size check it 261 check this one 261 don't let it be too 
don't let it exceed so that it can be measured with this you can centralize when you do that the next thing you need to do change the color of the one at the bottom to white when you do that you can see how it look well, it's not really amazing and the color is not really come out the way you want you can decide to change the color to green color use your color picker tap the color from here make it more deep okay than this and you'll have this as a result and if you don't want that you can try out that one like this one will it give you what you want you can check let's see if you tap the color from here is it going to give you what you actually wanted so when you give something like this it is still cool more than expected which means we can use our color picker tap the color from this when we tap the color from this we can have our color but it is not really cool as expected let's change other color from here or make it more darker it still blend with what we actually wanted but what about if we make everything more dark okay than expected then we position the two by merging it position it to the center not as that just copy the two tap here and you position it to the center after you are able to do that you can see the color is automatically showing so what we need to do next is to make it more deeper than expected okay so let's make it more deeper and this one will give us the result we want and the top one will have the same color as we want you can actually lock the two while the fresh burger will come to the top so make it to be around this place and will give us the result we wanted so now everything seems to be cool and seem to be natural so the next thing we need to you do natural text we can just match this three together shift it up a little bit so after that we can have a natural text but instead of stressing ourselves let copy here natural text so when you have a natural text we can position that around there and we give us the results that we actually wanted and when you look at it this is cool right okay very cool now we have the whole result as we wanted so the next thing we need to do after that we have to bring um, this particular stuff let's bring this we need to bring this come to this exact space to make it cool but it needs to be more okay just say order now so use your color filter filter the color to make it green as i did then you lock it lock everything then you'll have your text to be order now So position it here. So move it. Have a position here. So you can change the color and use the previous one you have been using. And this seems seem to be cool. And this is how you can just come up with uh, a, uh, uh, an advert banner on your Android smartphone using your PC lab with blending. And when you look at it, this is awesome. So the next thing you can do, you can add a finishing touch by applying a shadow to all this to make it stand effect and make it obvious. So apply a little shadow, the blur radius, don't allow it to be more than five and offset y should be five 
while the opacity should be something like 15. Tap on the plus sign and you reduce this. Then you recheck whether you are really did a great job. And when you look at it, it will really come out straight as you actually want that. Thank for watching once again. I believe we'll learn something from here. God bless you.